the time at which cells were taken from Henrietta Locks, what the doctors did at Hopkins wasn't illegal, but it was arguably morally wrong. Just because something is legal doesn't mean that it's ethical. It's not illegal, just to give a simple example, for you to break a promise to someone you'd made to pick her up at the airport. The police aren't going to come after you, but it may well be unethical. Um, certainly the uh, t medical treatment she would be given would differ. I mean, there, there are better um, procedures, surgical procedures and medicines that would fight uh, the particular kind of cancer she had. Uh, I also believe that she would have been treated much differently uh, ethically speaking. The risks of um, medical procedures would have been explained. Um, I hope in ways that um, were pretty transparent and uh, the possible benefits explained. If the doctors were going to take a sample, they would need to get her approval for their taking it and so forth. So things would have been different. There's pretty much universal agreement that informed consent needs to be in place before researchers use human beings in experiments. There isn't much controversy about that, but there are gray areas that uh, there's currently a lot of debate on. Let me give you an example. Um, suppose that you give your informed consent to have a tissue sample um, from your body used in a research study. It's now the case that if the original investigative team takes the sample and anonymizes it so you can't be identified. That team can give your sample to another group of researchers who can do whatever experiments they want on it without your informed consent. There's a lot of debate as I uh, suggested right now about whether that is um, an ethical way to proceed. I, th I think ethics uh, is extremely important in, in medicine and that we've made some progress on that front. A watershed moment, I think, was uh, the Nuremberg Code, also the Declaration of Helsinki that came afterward. There are it, various international and institutional documents that have expressed certain ethical ideals and I think that expression is really important. A continued conversation is vital because uh, the nature of what medicine can do has changed so much. Um, people are much more readily identifiable from small biological samples than they were even 20 years ago. So new problems arise in terms of privacy, in terms of what in persons can be used by medicine and so forth. So continuing to think about ethical issues is crucial, I believe.